um, and fear and how to make sure that you're meditating twice a day, if that, if you recommend that. Yes. Okay. And, you know, all the different ways of staying connected to supreme yes. consciousness throughout the day, like practical ways of doing that? Yes. Okay. Okay. So first thing right now, we will meditate. Meditate so all the concepts, all the teachings comes through. So requirement for that kind of meditation is to quiet the mind, make the mind free from judgments. So observe the breath. Let it become smoother and steadier, rhythmic and quiet. When breathing becomes quiet, mind becomes quiet. When mind becomes quiet, it becomes easier to perceive the reality. When mind becomes quiet, it goes to the source. Source is deep within us. That is our original nature, which is Sat, Chit and Anand. Original nature that knows everything. Original nature that is part of God, part of Supreme Consciousness. So everything is deep within us. So as whenever we become quiet, we are connecting with God consciousness within us. And that is meditation. So meditation doesn't have to be formal meditation, certain time of the day. It is always useful, but we can meditate any, any, at any time of the day while walking, driving, cooking, doing any kind of work. As long as our mind is introverted and non-judgmental, everything happens. Because to deal with life is not dealing with anything, but dealing with our own mind that is restless and reacts. So mind is quiet, non-judgmental, and we are practicing mindfulness. That means we are in the present, experiencing everything without judgment. It takes care of many problems. This can be practiced at any time of the day. When you practice in the morning or in the evening, that is extra opportunity because in the morning when your mind is quiet, before you start with activities, you can observe the breath, become introverted and find stillness deep within. You don't have to look for answer because it just gives the panoramic vision so itself become spontaneous answer. That means you live spontaneously in the present. You don't have to plan ahead of time what to do, what to react, what to do right or wrong. Matter of fact, if you maintain stillness, everything will happen. So when we try too hard in a relationship, how should I be good enough? Am I doing my duty properly? Am I providing proper services? All these questions don't arise <clears throat> because we are in tune. Whatever we do, it is our dharma. That means we don't think about dharma like as a mother, I should do this as a wife, I should do this, as a neighbor, I should do this. All these questions don't arise. Being spontaneously, spontaneous and doing what is necessary would be good. So for meditation, just observe the breath, 
become quiet, go introverted. The simplest meditation is go deep within into your basic original nature, which is Atman, which is deep within innermost chamber of heart. This is our true essence. When we breathe out, we go out in the universe. Universe is also manifestation of Supreme Consciousness. Going inside is unmanifest form. Going outside is manifest form. Manifest form means everyone, everything. There is nothing outside of it. And when you become introverted, there is nothing but you. And you are nothing but a reflection. It is like potential form and active form. Potential form is deep within us. It's just like egg and chicken, seed and tree. Seed is deep inside. It has potential to become a tree. Tree has potential to produce seed so it has potential to be tree again. So we are all connected. Going inward, that means everything becomes quiet. Going inward means you withdraw from all the relationship, all the thoughts of the past, all the thoughts of future. You withdraw from all the possessions and loved ones. You withdraw from your own body your own senses, own mind, own intellect, what remains is just consciousness, awareness that I am. All the energy is drained by the mind and intellect, especially intellect that thinks, analyzes and drains energy. When we go inward, we don't drain any, any energy because we are free from all the burdens of doership. So that is basic concept of, I am not the doer, I am only an instrument. What can I do as an instrument? What kind of service can I provide? That is the only thought we have. But when you are sitting and meditating, you can close the eyes, become quiet, go inward with the breath until breath dissolves. Atman is a starting point of the breath, of the mind, of the consciousness. Everything starts from breathing. It goes everywhere, and when it returns back, we go to original source, which is nothingness or everythingness. If you become nothing, drop all the attachments, all the burdens, you get revived. And that is the purpose of meditation. So, close the eyes. Breath goes in, travel in. Breath goes out, travel out. Going inward, there is nothing but consciousness. Going outward is nothing but supreme consciousness. In between is the world. In between is Maya. In between is all the illusions. Everything in between with the names and forms. It is nothing but illusion. There is nothing permanent. Nothing stays the same at all the times, all the places, and under all circumstances. So we are in touch with nothingness and everythingness. 
and everything in between dissolves. That gives tremendous rest. This is meditation. If you want, you can do mantra that so hum. You can observe the breath and think about the sound so or mantra so. Breath flows out, it's the mantra hum. So means that or infinite coming into me. A hum or hum means I am going into infinite. So inside and outside merges. And in that merging, everything is consciousness and everything with the names and forms, entire world, all the relationship, everything disappears. And we find the rest. You can practice that mantra, so and hum. With each breath, mantra so, each breath hum and think about the meaning at the same time. So and hum. Eyes are closed. You're not saying so and hum. You just hear the sound, subtle sound. That subtle sound is like so, breathing in. Outside, breathing out, sound is The subtle sound, you become more sensitive to hear it. <clears throat> if you want to go deeper, then you can be aware of the sensation of incoming breath and outgoing breath. Incoming breath would be little bit cooler, you feel inside the nostril, outgoing breath will be slightly warmer. It will be so subtle that you cannot experience it until you focus on it. So you have to be quiet and still. So you can hear the sound so and hum, and also you can feel slight coldness and slight warmth. So this is when you go in the depth. So and hum, dwelling on the thought that I am one with supreme consciousness, everything in between is illusion. So we can do a mantra, so hum, so hum, so hum, shivo hum. So hum, that I am, that I am, supreme consciousness, and I am one. So hum, so hum, so hum, shivo hum. So hum, I'm shivo hum, means I am supreme consciousness. So basically, is affirming, I am created in the image of supreme, I am one with supreme, I experience that supreme consciousness, I identify with it, so in that identity, all the attachment to the body, senses, mind, and all the relations disappear. So we'll chant it. <laughs> Mantra is so hum so hum, so hum shivo hum. So as I chant, you interna internalize the feeling and feel the connection. So hum, so hum, so hum shivo. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
सोहम 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 शिवोहम सोहम 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 शिवोहम वेन यू सिंग इट सो दर इज फीलिंग ऑल्सो एन एक्सपीरियंस सो मंत्र बिकम्स पार्ट ऑफ यू सो हम सो सो हम सो with that feeling letting the mantra flow entirely and to conclude it we chant the mantra om shanti om shanti om shanti om my nature is peace then we get established into our basic nature is this peace because when there is nothing outside no distraction no connection from outside we establish in our own inner nature an experience peace and sustain that experience not meditating for us how long but how deep you go and how long you maintain even after short meditation you reach the depth sustain it and that will transform you okay good thank you thank you so much shanti okay it was wonderful mm-hmm.